try something out. People call this a magic trick. This is an experiment involving cocoa powder and a toothpick. Aren't you excited? Let's get started! So, we'll take a tablespoon of cocoa powder and dip it in the water for 1 to 2 seconds. The cocoa powder is then gently tapped with a toothpick. The wet part vanished immediately after tapping the cocoa powder, and it appears that it did not get wet at all. What caused this to happen? How come the cocoa powder did not absorb all of the water? Hydrophobic properties are found in cocoa powder. Hydrophobic fat molecules prevent water from passing through any holes in the cocoa powder. When the words hydro, which means water, and phobic, which means fear, are combined, the result is water fearing. This actually has a counterpart. The opposite of hydrophobic is hydrophilic. Philic means like or love, so hydrophilic implies water loving. When you think of a membrane, imagine it as a big plastic bag with some tiny holes. That bag holds all of the cell pieces and fluids inside the cell and keeps any nasty things outside the cell. Cell membrane is mainly comprised of phospholipids, proteins, carbohydrates, and cholesterol. The phospholipid resembles a sperm but with a head and two tails. The phospholipid is amphiphilic, but what exactly do we mean by amphiphilic? It has a polar head and a pair of non-polar tails. The polar head is hydrophilic, which means it loves water. Non-polar tails, on the other hand, are hydrophobic, which means they are afraid of water. As a result, when placed in a watery environment, the hydrophilic heads interact with water while the hydrophobic tails inwards away from the water. This is what we call the phospholipid bilayer. The proteins function as the holes in the bag, or what we previously referred to as the membrane. They move molecules in and out of the cell. Another component is the carbohydrate. Consider this to be a detector. They help in classifying cell characteristics and assisting cells in detecting chemical signals. Lastly is the cholesterol. We call them as pacers. When the temperature drops, cholesterol penetrates the space between the phospholipids to keep them from becoming overly packed. It can also do the opposite, connecting phospholipids to keep them from becoming too liquid.